I saw my guilt upon your cross I found new life from what was lost I am free, how can it be? You broke the power of canceled sin You brought this child back home again darkness with your love you washed me white in crimson flood i am free how can it be oh i am free how can it be oh for a thousand tongues to sing my great redeemer's praise the glories of of my shame and over the prison of fear you have the victory here over the sting of the grave you are faithful and mighty to save Guys, thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. Man, it's awesome, Travis, listening to these new songs. And I'm excited for the church to hear these. And we were just saying, this song is so great. Um, as, a, as an opener in a service, it's encouraging. It's upbeat. It's, it's full of just praise and proclamation. And it's, we don't, it, surprisingly, there's not a lot of songs for, that are written like that. Mm. You know, and, and whenever there's one like this that's, um, that's this celebration element to it. Like ch churches are just hungry for that. But I love the fact that you guys, you really took an old idea in the, in the chorus on this that, that from Over a Thousand Tongues, been around for hundreds of years, and you actually really refreshed it, flipped it, added some, some great lyric to that. But maybe just start us off, Travis, where, like what were you guys thinking about and, and what kind of led you down this road on this idea? Well, I think exactly like you alluded to, we, we were looking to write an up-tempo song. I mean, as a worship leader, that has content, uh, that, that has content, yeah. and a singable. I mean, you know, to hit, to do all those things, and you know, I've got a list. I've, I've got a word document that has a list of every up tempo song that my church currently knows, and it's so rare that I get to add a song to that list because there are so few, but they're so important in the flow and the energy of mm -hmm. a worship set. And um, I think you know, David, David was just saying that I uh, we we started kind of sniffing around oh, 04,000 tongues to sing, my great redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of his grace. You know, we started thinking, what, what if we start tearing that apart and kind of, kind of looking at that? And we were like, well, 
They got that lyric pretty right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> the, you know, there's, cool. there's, there's not there's a the lot chorus. to add to that. So that's, that's kind of where we got started. Yeah. yeah. And putting it into a format that's more of a verse, chorus, mm -hmm. bridge, really just brings it, contextually, it just brings it into modern worship where it's feel every new church. Again. Yeah, it feels yeah. fresh and feels new. Yeah, absolutely. And Jeff had a great melody idea, and I thought, man, that's just something I want to sing that chorus over and over. It's just such a good, yeah. it mm -hmm. just feels good to sing it. Yeah. Well, and the things that, that are now in the verse, I get so excited when, I, I just love the lyric to this song. When I sing that first verse, it's so exciting. And then I see the next one come up, and I'm like, oh, I just, I love saying this to God. You know, you, you did these things. You did these things for me. Uh, and I have freedom. How can it be? Oh, 4,000 tongues. So I, you know, um, it's, it's just a lyric that seems to get more fun as the song progresses. Yeah, yeah, right. mm -hmm. And it excites me that we're, we're teaching a younger generation um, the history of the church. Yes. And, and we're carrying this line of important songs, important theology into these. Uh, that's exciting. Like this will live on because of songs like this, that those lyrics and that theology will live on for hundreds of years in right. the church. It's That's really right. important. Yeah. yeah. But Jeff, walk us through what you're playing on this. Yeah. So this is in D. Um, so we start out that intro just kind of holding that D chord. The first part of the first verse, uh, it's kind of pedaling all over the D notes. So you have D, G over D, D again, then A over D. And here's the variation, D over F sharp. G, B minor, A suspended, back to D. So that's the verse. I'll, I'll show you guys when it moves away from the pedal. So on kind of the verse 1B, I guess would be a D, G, B minor, A suspended, D over F sharp, G, B minor, here comes the chorus, A, D, a thousand G, is G. B minor, A suspended, then we get D again, G, B minor, A, D. That's the chorus. I'll show you the bridge. Um, the bridge goes, the front half of the bridge, D over F sharp, G, B minor, D over F sharp, G, B minor, for kind of that soft first half of the bridge. And as it builds, uh, we add in the A, so D over F sharp, G, B minor, A suspended. Uh, yeah, B minor, just that A suspended, just keep going. Sensing themes in a lot of songs I'm involved with, they just repeat. <laughs> um, yeah, and that, I mean, that's the bridge, and then it's back to the chorus from there. And again, like, a, it's a simple song, it's just about, it's just about kind of placing the movement of those chords. Mm. Yeah, and I love that you guys... And that bridge, lyrically, it really brings it personal. Yes. You know, it's like it's, it's over, you know, you're sovereign over these things that are going on in my life. So mm -hmm. it becomes, takes it out of the, we as a congregation, and just bringing it personal down to like, this is what you've done for us. Yes. It's mm -hmm. really great. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks so much for sharing the song Thank with you. us. Can't wait for the church to hear it. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, for a thousand.